Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is gonna be a reading for, oh shoot, your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energy, <clears throat> excuse me, can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it, I need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. <clears throat> Excuse me, if it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, immediate future for the gems. So it's coming up, please. You got the King of Pentacles, could be, oh shoot, dealing with the Earth sign. Immediate future for Gemini, please. Thank you. The Six of Swords, for some you could be moving, could be, could be traveling, but it feels like the Four of Cups, you're moving on from something. <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily have to be a person, it could just be a situation. But we're ending with the Four of Cups, so... With the Four of Cups, that's Cancer energy, but that's also, you know, not really, it feels like there's something that's kind of here, but you're not, or vice versa, not budging towards it. Show me this King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is Earth energy, but in general, this is a, a usually a pretty stout, uh, grounded energy. Could be somebody who I mean, works a lot, a provider, could just be an Earth sign, but you got the Queen of Swords. That's your energy in the world. Something's changing around this situation. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Show me the world, please. Yeah, we got the five of wands. So, I mean, there's there could be some type of conflict, some type of drama around the situation. Um, or it, it also could be, <clears throat> excuse me, something that's changing. But with that change... Um, you know, there may come some type of conflict around it. But we have the Six of Swords here. So with the Six of Swords, you're pulling away from that. Show me the Six of Swords. From that energy. Literally, like I said, could be moving. Could be traveling. What is the Six of Swords? Thank you. Oh, shoot. Look at you, the Empress. Oh, sorry. Taurus, Libra, energy, you're moving forward and focusing on you. You could be doing something intuitive, but it also feels like you may be keeping a lot to yourself. Show me that uh, Empress, please. The Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're healing from something here. There could have been some type of distance separation but when you have the three of swords and the four of swords there was something here that caused some type of pain but or you know like separation disconnect type energy but with that four of swords there you're healing from that and that's why the four of cups is here so it's kind of like not today not bothering type energy show me this outcome please for gemini with the Four of Cups. The Knight of Wands. Well, you're not interested in... I mean, it could be dealing with a younger air sign. doesn't have to be. But it feels like there's like this disinterest of like... Sometimes the Knight of Wands can be non-committal. But it's also a very um, fast energy. The Temperance card. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're doing a lot of healing here. You're not budging towards something. The Knight of Wands can also be like a player in and out type energy. The Eight of Cups. You're separating from something here. You're no longer, or at least at the moment, it's almost like found some peace from the drama. So not entertaining it instead of that disconnecting and kind of healing letting go going with the flow enjoying 
pain over heartbreak or drama, conflict. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for our personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.